So it's uh, early October. As you can see, we're already building city. If it's your first time to the open, go get a seat on the 16th hole. We're gonna have 3,700 bleacher seats. Those are always gonna be hard to come by, kind of that bucket list item. 17 is one of those great PGA Tour drivable par fours. We've seen a lot of action on the 17th hole with playoffs, birdies, eagles. Andrew McGee made a hole in one. And we're really proud that we've been able to really build 17 out. We've got the Bay Club structure on the left side. And then last year we added the Cove. We're going to grow the Cove. You know, so we're going to grow by 11 suites on our Cove structure. And we've added a double decker unit on our members club. We've got 600 bleacher seats on the player's right. Loads of shade, loads of grass, great place to watch golf. Then we're gonna move to 18. Right behind 18T, you're gonna have 250 bleacher seats. On your right side on 18, player's right, you're gonna see a beautiful new double-decker structure. We're moving from 30 suites to 60 suites, overlooking the church pews on our finishing hole. We have a new logo, we've branded it. One thing that we've really focused on our finish, besides having our new structures and our suites, is that we wanna keep that feel of all the stadium seating. Plenty of area for our, our general admission ticket, plenty of opportunity to enjoy the 15th hole, the 16th hole, the 17th, and then our finish on 18th. There's great golf on the front side uh, with the craft beer house at seven that you can stop in. About three years ago, uh, we started El Rancho on top of the hill on the right side at number 12. This year, we're gonna build an 18,000 square foot platform for general admission only. On this 18,000 square foot structure, you're gonna be able to watch golf on number six, on number 14, on number 15, and number 12, all the while standing up at one of the peak spots of our entire property enjoying the Waste Management Phoenix Open.